In this video I'm going to be showing you how to install an operating system into VM Player. What you need to do is uh, click on uh, create new virtual machine and it's uh, picking up on the disk that's in the drive there so I'm going to go next then you have to put the Windows product key in so I shall put this bit in and uh, obviously put your password if you want in there so I'll pause it at this stage so I don't want to see my key okay so that's the uh, key put in so all we need to do now is push next and you can do this for every operating system really so whether it's XP, Vista or uh, Windows 7 it's all the same and then just put the maximum disk space that you want okay so um, I don't want a uh, full TC so you can actually put whatever you like really it's only a virtual machine for me so probably going to use something in the region of 10 something like that maybe 20 and then we're going to go next and then uh, as you can see it's set the memory there you can actually customize this as you want so you can just set it up for what you like let's just put a bit more memory on there just by dragging the slider on and you've got the drive where you've got your CD drive there as you can see you've got your network bit set up it's all pretty much done for you really you can play around with this at the end of it so you don't need to worry about that just now so I'm just going to click OK here then click finish let it load okay just click on the download bit there okay that's downloaded it's just updating there as you can see just let that do the updating part okay that's starting to do the setup for Windows now so it's just doing its thing just let that install it's just a sim same as uh, installing it onto a normal machine except we're using a virtual machine here so we'll let that install okay so we've got to the uh, setup is now starting windows pit just need to let that go it's just doing the actual formatting part okay it's now just copying the files across so and just installing that so as you can see down there it's copied all the files off the disk now so just need to let that copy now, virtual machines are great for testing software um, you know doing main uh, if you don't want to do a dual boot you can actually have one operating system and have a load of virtual machines set up rather than having dual booting and uh, quad booting and god knows what else so you can actually uh, set these all up to have Ubuntu and whatever you like so it's easy to set up and easy to uninstall ok that's need done copying the files across now and then once that's finished we'll move on to the next stage it's initialising the XP configuration it's going to restart the computer now just let it restart
as you can see it's set to uh, easy install so basically this is doing it all for me I'm not pushing any of the keys it's just selecting these you can actually take this feature off if you wanted to and have full control of the installation where you choose uh, what to do when to reboot and whatever so but this is doing it all for me so it's just as easy and just installing the devices now and uh, we're nearly finished now with this installation it's just installing the network side of things now and uh, once we've uh, finished off doing this it will start going into finalizing the installation it's just copying a few more files across that it needs and uh, we should be pretty much there and that says 28 minutes it sort of jumps jumps down pretty quickly it's very similar to virtual box this is as you can see we've got the icons down here showing you the hard disk the CD drive floppy uh, network adapters and uh, sound card and uh, some plus USB serial ATA bridge so it's got uh, pretty much a few it's pretty much the same sort of thing really but I like the look of this uh, VM player as you can see it's jumping down now it's just installing the start menu sort of this uh, I don't think this is the real sort of time really it's just a guideline that's just registering the components now Okay, that's him again to the saving settings and uh, finalising the installation. So this shouldn't take too long now. It'll be about another minute, and then uh, we should be rebooted into the operating system itself. Okay, that's it. That's just uh, removing temp files, and uh, it's going to reboot, and uh, we should be okay. So it's just going to reboot the system. It'll probably start to prepare the uh, profile for the person. And that's uh, the desktop all loaded in. Just finishing off this little uh, Windows install. Not sure what that is, but we'll have a little look in a sec. Okay, it's just installed in the VMware tools. Looks like it's uh, just removing the backups and then we should be uh, pretty much uh, installed there now. One final reboot and I think that will be it. So we'll just let this uh, shut down and reboot. Okay, it's Windows logging in, that's it then. And there you have one uh, installation of Windows in a VMware player. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Brian from BrideTech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel, rate for all my videos, and uh, join my forum if you want to join the forum and ask some questions and maybe help out over there. So thanks again for your support, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.